I was introduced to a French father-son. And the person who was introducing us said, oh, th this, this is uh, a filmmaker. She said, well, what, what, what movies might I have seen? I said, well, the one that most people know is Gettysburg. I said, yeah, I wrote and directed it. He says, this is my, this is my favorite movie in the world. Gettysburg is a great gateway drug, and the movie Gettysburg is a great gateway drug to the gateway drug. I, I don't think people realize the impact that this movie had. I think historical films are enormously important if they're entertaining, because if they're entertaining, then people learn the history and don't even realize they're learning the history. There was some really good acting in that. Uh, Jeff Daniels, Stephen Lang, they were tremendous and uh, that infused the historical person with a light. The movie Gettysburg changed our lives here in ways that at the time I don't know that any of us could really imagine. I had just left my the employer that I was with and I had a, a my first child on the way and we just had a new house built and I turned to my wife and she was an angel about it. She said, you need to do this. You need to do this movie. Uh, and I think too, there was actors um, that expressed a, a shock and surprise at the amount of enthusiasm from the reenactors and extras that showed up. Thanks to reenactors. What higher praise can I give the reenactors than to relate this story? They really own this movie. When I was uh, actually sitting on this hillside here, one of the uh, sayings in the movies are you, you, you have about two minutes of filming and about an hour of wait, so it's hurry up and wait. And when I looked out over this valley, I actually said to myself, someday I'd like to have a house here. I'd like to live right here. I said, this is the place. This is home. Everybody worked together on this film as a unit. The gaffers, the actors, uh, the PAs, um, the makeup artists, down to the the, the people that took care of the horses. And it was the most, it was the biggest time that I ever felt that everyone was a real big family. I remember when he was shooting Little Round Top and, and there was five attacks. And I thought, oh my God, that's never hold up in a theater. I, and my God, they loved it. It, it was, and, and when I watched it, I loved it. It was brilliant. I hadn't had many movies at the time and, and the, the idea of, as, being in something like this that America really took to their heart is, is very important. And here we are 30 years later talking about it, you know. So I have the extended version. I've got every version, first of all, <laughs> of Gettysburg the movie. The extended version is like four hours and 31 minutes. My mom went into labor with me when she was watching Gone with the Wind, so I'm a Civil War movie kid from birth. <laughs> uh, so when Gettysburg came out, I was, I was all in. So I was nine years old when the movie came out. I remember renting it from you know, a blockbuster rental, and uh, it was VHS. My father took my older brother and me to see it. And ever since then, I've been in love with the film. I just, it was a real connection. Seventh grade, it was the teacher rolled in the audio video card at the end of the Civil War lesson. We watched Gettysburg for two days and that was, uh, that was it. I started getting into uh, you know, different kinds of like media, video games and board games. And, and ever since then, it kind of propelled me forward to wanting to look into history and become a history major. I became associated with the Farnsworth House restaurant my job is to change the movie, the DVD, uh, from one side to another. It seems to me that I've watched it every single day for the last four or five years, and so that's why I tend to make the claim that I have seen it more than any other living person. This movie has had an incredible shelf life and continues to draw people to Gettysburg and draw people to the Civil War, and I think that's a great thing. There are going to be more people that watch the film Gettysburg than will ever be able to come to this battlefield park. And I think the best thing about films like Gettysburg is they provide an entry point for visitors that gets them excited, that gets them interested. The further away I get from it, 
Uh, the less I'm uh, bothered by its imperfections and the more I'm uh, at peace with it and I can live with it and uh, even to the extent I can say I'm proud of it. When we were approaching the 150th anniversary, they'd say, Scott, what can we do to generate interest in the American Civil War? I said, get Hollywood to make a movie. <laughs> What matters now is that people are seeing it. And thanks to streaming television, I get the quarterly reports. More millions of people are seeing my Civil War movies now than have ever seen it between now and then. This is the power of motion pictures. There's some guy saw Gettysburg in China, and he, that's his window into American history. You know, there's, there's never going to be another movie about Gettysburg that's filmed right here on the, on the battlefield. It brought a lot of interest and a lot more visitors to the park, to the battlefield. Um, not just to Gettysburg, but I think it generated a huge interest in the Civil War itself. Pre the movie, they experienced it through their car primarily. Post the movie Gettysburg, they wanted to get out of their car. They wanted to experience the field. They wanted to walk the field of Pickett's Charge. They wanted to walk over Little Round Top. They wanted to go where the 20th Main was. They want to go see the John Buford statue. They want to find the Hancock wounding mark or try to figure out where Louis Armistead was mortally wounded. So it, it shifted visitors' attention. Because of the movie, because of my studies of history, made me want to, uh, made me want to be in the military and get my own military ex experiences. I joined the Marines right out of high school. Uh, and then after uh, after that, I got out of the Marine Corps and then I went on to, to study history and work in the history field. It actually brought me and my father closer together as we had a shared interest in the American Civil War. So since my father has passed away in uh, 2012, I can always look fondly back on those years that we had together. Down to, for me, in a very personal way, I mean, that's when I met my husband, Jeff. And so this film, this movie, uh, really altered the trajectory of my life, especially in the last 10 years uh, when I left New York and moved to Washington, D.C., where I decided to work for the then Civil War Preservation Trust. I met my wife, I had my children, uh, pursued a history career because of this movie that I had seen at age 12 or 13. I met my wife on the town square and my kids owe their existence to the fact that I moved here and met my wife there. So sometimes, sometimes yeah. it comes to some good. But were it not for this movie and for the love of history that it brought out of me, uh, there are lives that would not have been created and lives that would not be lived because of it. it. Sounds a bit dramatic, I understand, but this is the impact that film and art can have on people. It can force them or encourage them to try new things, uh, learn new things, and can really alter the courses of their lives. Uh, and, it, and so it was a great box office story, as well as being a great creative story. It was, a, it was what we call in the business, win-win. What an impact it had. It seemed it like is. half or more of the people that came to Gettysburg were here because of the movie. And, exactly. if, and, and if y'all watching, you know, have seen this movie and it's meant something to you, we hope you enjoy going around to some of these sites with the people who were involved in the production um, as much as we do. So join along and thanks for all your support of Battlefield Preservation and Education yes. and of course, the magic of movies.